Love is a 99, baby. It's my favorite time of the day. Love is a 99, baby. Can we just hear what they have to say? Uh. One of my favorites. All right, number nine, before summer gets here, you should get yourself a pair of metal detecting oh. sandals. Oh. Because you never know when you're walking over buried treasure. There's a copper coil built into the right sandal powered by a battery pack that straps to your leg. Whoa. And there's a special ring that's built in to create a magnetic field, which allows the whole metal detection process to take place. You're just walking. You don't have to walk yeah, with that stick. Nice. Ah. You can find these magic sandals on Amazon or Hamaker Schlemmer. Oh, the old one. Yeah. Com. They're like 60 bucks, but given all that treasure out there, they right. might pay for themselves in a that's day. Right. The first 10 minutes, right? Probably. For sure. Yeah. That's awesome. Uh, number eight, here's a funny tweet from writer Soren Bowie. He says, whenever I want to get my head around the size of a prehistoric animal, I too think of how many crouching women tall it is. <laughs> and this illustration comes from an old Tumblr site called Paleopedia. It has illustrations of extinct animal paleontology. This thing is called the elephant bird, and it was gigantic. It was a flightless Ooh. bird that roamed the island of Madagascar. It stood nearly 10 feet tall and weighed about 1,500 pounds. They became extinct around 1200 AD, so that means there were humans Ooh. around with this thing. Huh. Interesting. Number seven, uh, you know the expression void where prohibited. We hear it all the time, but most people have no idea what it means here. Yeah. So here's an explanation. Void where prohibited is a clause that gives a company blanket protection against running an illegal contest without having to research the law in each particular state. Oh, that's fair enough. Or to tailor the uh, contest accordingly. So that's only for here in the U.S. For contests outside the U.S., the rules do vary. Mm. So yeah, take that. contests. Take so caution. that's why you have to, whenever you hear those rambling yeah, you know, yeah, things at the end of it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. All, right. Right. Really great All right, number six, uh, this might be the best work policy we've ever heard of. Dan Price is the CEO of Gravity, a credit card processing and financial service company. He polled his employees to see where they wanted to work, and only 7% they said they preferred working in the office. 31% wanted a home office hybrid situation, but 63% said they wanted to work only from home, so Price came up with the solution and shared his philosophy on Twitter. He said, do whatever you want. As a CEO, what do I care? Price then summed up his policy in 10 words. If you got your work done, that's all that matters. Dan Price is the same CEO who raised salaries a few years back, served when his company made at least $70,000 a year. Wow. Yeah. Uh Oh. Nice. Mm -hmm. All right. What does that company do again? Because do uh, banking any services. Ah. Nothing. You don't yeah. have any skills Nuts. in that area. All right. Number five. Way back in October of 1976, at the height of his career, Southern rock star Greg Allman shocked and thrilled students in an all-boys Catholic high school near Buffalo. This is a picture of Allman and his then wife Cher at Canisius High School in October of 1976. Oh, wow. Allman was getting treatment for drug addiction at a rehab facility nearby when some students wrote to him and asked him to visit their school. That Cher on the right or left there? Well, she's there in the center. center. Were they married uh, before or after Sonny? After. After. After? They were married? Yeah, mm -hmm. and they had, was it Elijah Blue? Elijah Blue, yep. Yeah. They had a kid together. They had a kid, mm -hmm. yeah. This is before Sonny. After, after Sonny. Sonny. After Sonny. Yeah. Oh, sorry. So anyway, they Ooh. wrote to him and said, can you come? So he not only came to the school, he played a surprise concert for the kids. Oh, the wow. students were told they had an assembly, but they didn't know that Almond would be there. And Cher was on stage with him. Uh, later stopped by the faculty residence to uh, hang out with the Jesuit priests living oh, I'm there. I'm sure they love that. <laughs> yeah. And later in life... Look how Cher looks in this picture. <laughs> Good Lord. Later in life, Alvin said the school show was a very important yeah. part of his life. Uh, that is a neat story. That is a great story. Uh, well, she that. didn't marry the same guy twice, I tell you that much, because Sonny Bono did look anything. Completely different. Uh, completely yeah. different, they yeah. Had the similar hairstyles. Well, you marry mm -hmm. someone's soul. That's who they are on the inside. Yeah, Not all you're yeah. an image guy. Yeah, you're right about that. Uh, number four, you know, from time to time, we'll take a, a real letter to an advice column, and, you know, we'll see if we can help. We're all, all right, yeah. very wise people. This is from S. Carolyn in the Washington Post. All right. I've heard so many people say, when you know, you know, or it feels right. And my question is, what does that mean? 
I can sort of imagine spending my life with someone until I really think about what that might entail. How do you talk to the same person day in and day out? What if he bores you? Uh, what if I bore him after a few years? I listen to inane conversations around me and wonder why you would subject anyone to that. Yeah. It's just hard to fathom how two people did not get sick of each oh, other. Yeah. Well, you guys should answer this. All three of you, you know, yeah. long married men, what are your thoughts? I got to tell you, I'm the extreme opposite of that. Whereas, like, I only want to hang out with my wife because other people annoy me. Yeah. Like, she annoys me the least out of I'm anybody. All, yeah, all I want to hang out with her all the time because yeah. we're, you know. I've always said the key to a marriage, you gotta hate the same people. Oh, uh, that's the key. <laughs> yep. It's not about common interests or yeah. you gotta hate. That keeps the spark alive, uh, yeah. right? Because every time is... you go out, you'll see at least one new kind of person. Yeah. <laughs> that you're like, can you believe this guy? And you fall in love all over again. Yeah. <laughs> that's good thing. So, you know what? If we uh, find a kindred say. spirit, yes. yeah. to me, at least that's the, right. it's worked out okay for me. Right. Oh, wow. Yeah. Well, hopefully that lady who wrote the uh, yeah. uh, wrote it, and she'll be watching yeah. now, and we'll be able to yeah. learn from that. It's a magical thing. Yeah. Wow. Oh, wonderful. That was beautiful. Lovely. Not that that me be the only one who gives her advice. If you have anything to, no, no, to share. Listen, no, no. Listen, okay. what I was thinking about was meaningless in comparison to what you yeah. just shared. Yeah. So yeah. I'm yeah, like, listen. I was like, just you know, spend some time. Separately, too. You know, yeah. I was going to say that, but he unleashed are you, this. Uh, are you saying you don't like hanging out with your wife? <laughs> Is that what you're saying? Yeah. I'm saying yeah. that yeah. you got to have TV, time you yourself can, as well. You can have yeah. this conversation with her personally yeah. in private. You don't need yeah. to yeah. air all your dirty laundry on TV. Yeah. Jesus, well, Amy, cool. we're really sorry. Yeah. We didn't. Uh, cool, dude. <laughs> <laughs> All right, moving on. Number three is the real life Goonies. Some treasure hunters in Finland claim they're on the brink of finding $20 billion in gold, and they're getting offers from people all over the world to help them out. It is known as the Lemon Canaan Horde, a mythical trove of ancient artifacts, gold, and jewels said to be buried under a temple about 20 miles outside of Helsinki. Uh, the group is known as the Temple 12, claim to be very close to discovering the entrance to the temple, maybe One-Eyed Willie or uh, uh, Chester Copperpot. That, that is that movie still uh, classic. Holly, uh, you say One-Eyed Willie? One-Eyed Willie. <laughs> yeah. He's the he's the pirate that they're searching for. Pirate pirate one -eyed Come on, Willie. everybody, you, know. you don't okay. think? You know, that's right. You're the only one in the whole. Yeah. Viewing area that doesn't even know what we're talking about. One eyed Willie is a fair Willie. Yeah, it's just not the one you're talking yeah, about. It's different. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> right, number two. Number two. Let's keep moving. Here are some fake banners. <laughs> Don't say number two again. Gary's yeah. <laughs> like gets all that. angry. <laughs> uh, here are some fake banners for items on the <laughs> antique roadshow. They were made by Keaton Patty, who is a writer for Jimmy Kimmel Live, and lots of other stuff. You can follow him on Twitter, but check these out. Here they come. All right. That one makes you bald. Yep. All right. Very <laughs> long spoons, yeah. Huh. Big boy that were. <laughs> yeah. Big boy trains that replace a wife. Huh. Huh. Reasonable prices, too. <laughs> <laughs> I can't pay Nick's. Maybe that's it. There you go. Yeah, that's good. All right, number one, Dean's cooking some food inspired by the movies a little bit later, and that made us think of the time a few years back when Larry and Pat were recalling a certain scene from Goodfellas. Take a look. Or this website, it's called she's a homewrecker.com. They did that in Goodfellas where Karen goes to the guides, <laughs> man. Four <laughs> You stay Larry, away you from my husband. Your own man. <laughs> <laughs> it's a great movie. Rossi, for us! <laughs> it's a scary impersonations we brought You've got that. a whore living in for us! I say <laughs> Rossi, for us! Attention, Mr. Landlord! Yes! And Demetrius and I are like, what are they talking about? Hello? Hello? Hi. Hi. This go. is Karen Hill. I want to talk to you. Hello? Hello? Don't hang up on me! I want to talk to you! You keep away from my husband, you hear me? Hello? Oh. Open the door! Answer me! I'm gonna tell everyone who walks in this building that in two are Rossi, you are nothing but a whore! Is this the superintendent? Yes, I want you to know, sir, that you have a whore living in two <laughs> Rossi! Janice Rossi, do you hear me? He's my husband! Get your own! 
Wow. Uh, oh, I yeah. totally yeah. forgot remember that, that scene. Yeah. Remember that scene? Yeah. Remember that scene? Oh, yeah. Lord, yeah. Well, you and Larry, well, that's the closest right? I've ever You Physically, yeah, you were God, close. Relationally, you were close. Yeah, I it's know like he loved to be that close to him. Yeah. I don't think I've ever seen you two bond over anything like that. Over, yeah. Yeah, yeah. you and Larry really yeah, brought you closer. Really yeah. Nice. Meanwhile, I miss Demetrius. He's just, yeah, <laughs> he's just sitting there like, what the? <laughs> 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 yeah. You miss having him on the morning show. He's great. We were really close together on that. Right? Yeah. It's a whole lot of fun.